Hello everyone, and welcome back to the meadow. We are here with a very interesting group of creatures. I'm not even really sure who all is with us still, but we have been running around with this group for a while now, constantly searching for the pieces of the puzzle that will allow us to become a fox. And there are several foxes in our group, so I'm very envious of them, but we have not yet unlocked all of the puzzle pieces that we need in order to become a beautiful fox, or even one of the really vibrant orange sunset lynxes that I really, really want to become. Look at how gorgeous that is. Oh, and I love the Cave of Crystals. Isn't this so beautiful? I'm so glad we're here, even though I'm always, even to this day, still a little bit nervous when we run into these big groups of people. Going out and just risking it and going on the adventure has always brought such amusement. Last time we actually managed to run around for quite a while with a little group of baby badgers and I felt like I was in charge of them. I needed to be their mama or something like that. Yay! There's another piece. Oh, that's so fun. And this is a very helpful group too. They're very friendly. So let's keep moving. Oh, look at him lighting a little fire to light the way. And hopefully we can find some rune stones. I haven't seen a rune stone in a long time, but breaking it open will hopefully give us more pieces so that we can try to get a little closer to completing the puzzle for the fox. We're still very far away. <laughs> I've only gotten like two pieces, only a couple pieces. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, very, very pretty. All right, but yes, let's let's see where the group is going today. <laughs> I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. I hope that we will be able to find some fun adventure with this group. And that is actually a good reminder that it really is wonderful sometimes to just push yourself to go on the adventures. I tend to be a procrastinator when it comes to doing something that I'm uncertain about or nervous about. <gasps> really? A runestone, you guys! Yes! And if I, if I was a procrastinator with this and I hadn't come tonight to be able to run with this group, then I wouldn't have found this runestone! Yay! Object lesson achieved. <laughs> Alright, is it going to have the piece we need? Oh! Alright, did I get it? Did I get a piece of the puzzle? You guys, here we go! Another big piece of the fox puzzle! Wonderful! Oh, I'm so happy! Oh, where's my happy face? I wish- can you swap out which ones go where? Alright, so I wanna- I wanna give them like a happy face of joy. There we go. Maybe I can sing. There we go. I love that singing. <laughs> that always cracks me up. All right, let's go run with everybody else and we'll see if we can find another rune stone. Wonderful. Oh, and there's more pieces. Oh my gosh, there's so many emotions lately and I think they've been adding in more emotions so we can communicate with these people a little bit more. But I am a major procrastinator and a lot of you guys who have been with me for a long time now probably know that because I tend to get nervous and I drag my feet about going on big adventures. But Honestly, telling the stories and going on the adventures with you guys has really been one of the major things to convince me to just go on them, go on the real life adventures. And I'm hoping that the coming year will bring a lot of wonderful real life adventures that I can share with you guys and I can share with Chips and we can do amazing vlogs for and that I can just, oh, there's a runestone, a runestone that I can share with myself too. Oh my gosh. Okay. I've got to tell them, I've got to tell them, even though they've already seen it. By the time I'm going to say the runestone thing, they have they will have already seen it. All right, let's run with our friends and we're going to crack open another runestone. I wish I could figure out how to get to the winter woods. I feel like the world has gotten bigger. All right, can we wait for everybody? Is everybody going to get here in time? Can you get it, little froggy? Yeah, all right. So another wonderful piece. Thank you guys so much. Oh, there we go. And let's go, where are we at now? Look at this, we're putting together the fox. Oh, I have no idea how much longer it's going to be before we can have the fox, because it seems to be hard to find runestones some nights. But we've got a clever fox, a couple clever foxes with us right now, so maybe we'll get lucky. And I wonder, every time you break open a runestone, does a new one appear somewhere? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. I don't see any along here. But we'll follow the foxes. I mean, if they've already become foxes, then they've clearly been successful at this before. 
Let's see. But yes, so I'm really hoping this year will be a huge year of adventure and I won't hold back on it. And I can honestly say as somebody who is very timid and easily scared and easily nervous about pretty much everything in life, a runestone? Really? The frog says there's a runestone. Runestone! Runestone! I see it! You guys! We've got to go convince them! Runestone! Runestone! You guys! Good job, frog! Good job, frog friend! Alright! You guys, runestone! I, I'm so excited! I'm just like saying it over and over and over again. All right, maybe I can convince them. I'm gonna run for it, and hopefully they'll come with me. Because <laughs> the runestone's right over here, up to the left, I think. So we're gonna have to lead them, and hopefully everybody will come with us. Yay! We're getting some people coming with us, good. Oh, we'll have to help our little froggy friend reach that point. But yeah, you guys, as somebody who, oh, look how fast the frog swims. That's so cool. Has historically been very, very shy and scared of everything. I mean, it used to be that I wouldn't go on walks around the street because I was scared people would look at me from out their window. And it used to be, come on, come on, Lynx. Are you stuck on something? Come on, come on, Mama Lynx. Did I get stuck? Oh, Mama Lynx, you can do it. There we go. I, I wouldn't go outside on walks because I would be too nervous about people potentially um, potentially looking at me out the window and thinking what uh, like a, oh she's just a fat ugly girl what is she doing walking around the street and I used to be so timid about everything and honestly the only way I seem to have gotten over it and just to have embraced adventure is by doing it. <laughs> One of the biggest life changes that ever happened for me was my first year of college and I was still scared and timid and still had a hard time looking anyone in the eyes. I would still panic and cry before going to the grocery store because I was so scared. And what really changed is that one day I was sitting on campus staring at the trees and I realized if I wanted to change my life, I was going to have to start chasing whatever gave me butterflies in my stomach and made me feel almost dizzy with, with nerves and fear. I realized I was gonna have to start actively, actively pursuing those things. And I did, and I have. Oh, and there's more runestones. We found some wonderful runestones. And so I made a policy that year that changed pretty much everything. It, it didn't change, I mean, some things it changed really dramatically and immediately. And other things in my life, just like my joy journal, the changes were much more, look at that frog, he's laughing because he can go so much faster. But other things in my life, the changes were a lot slower and just the result of, of building up my sense of adventure one day at a time and of going back out again and again. Even though I would be so scared sometimes, I would feel physically sick. I would try going out on adventures. Oh! Two bunnies? A lynxie? Do we have what's needed? I think we have some of what's needed. Oh, two frogs. We need we need some boars. Oh, so sad. We've got like everything else. Look at the frog. He's like, I won't make you open. Oh, it's so sad. Oh, defeated by this big runestone. Defeated by it, <laughs> but it was fun to come. All right. I guess we'll have to keep moving. All right, come along everyone. Maybe we'll find more. There were already two really good runestones. What the heck is that over there? Is that like a fire? Is that the sun? What is that? Is that the sun? That's really weird. All right, where'd everybody go? Oh, they're over here. Okay. Go back, going back with the group. Oh, everybody's like, yeah, there's something here. Oh, do we have enough badgers? Do we have enough badgers? 
Oh, apparently there's a runestone piece. Oh, there's two badgers. Now we just need another frog, right? Come on. Come on. Oh, that's so frustrating. And I thought we had the right mix of uh, the right mix of everything. Oh well. Let's go ahead and start looking around for more. All right, I'm going to follow these guys. There we go. But yeah, just chase adventure. Chase chase the butterflies sometimes. It's terrifying. Um, totally, totally will admit that it is immensely terrifying. Wow, it rains over here. That's so pretty. And I remember being so scared. I still get so scared sometimes. Like for the first time in a very, very long time, I am getting ready to actually go on the airplane by myself uh, without chips and travel back home without him because he's going to stay for a little bit longer. Um, he's going to stay for a little bit longer visiting with his family in North Carolina and I'm going to come back so I can take care of you guys and work and take care of the birdos and everything like that. And and I'm really, I, I, oh, there's a piece. Good job, little frog. Man, these frogs are great finders. Good finder frogs. Oh, and there's a little piece of a, um, uh, essence flower. Yes, got it. So I'm actually getting ready to go on a little adventure that I haven't in a long time traveling through the airport, getting on a shuttle all by myself, and the me of eight years ago would have probably fainted away from horror at that, and the me now just gets to go, oh cool, maybe I will find something fun to vlog and share with you guys. Maybe I will find like some really yummy hummus. Oh, they have the best hummus at the Detroit airport to get. And I used to think the people who talked about traveling like that so casually, like, oh man, I'm really looking forward to that. I used to think they had no idea, no understanding of what it felt like to be so socially anxious, what it felt like to be so terrified all the time when it felt like to be so shy and now I've realized that it's kind of in many ways just oh wow it's one of the rare flowers yes <gasps> thank you little friend oh it's gorgeous it's so pretty everybody's coming to enjoy the rare flower this is wonderful what a good finder frog I really appreciate all these finder frogs there you go thank you little guy thank you you're really awesome. All right, let's keep moving to see if there's anything over here to you. Nothing? All right, then we'll turn around. Maybe something over here? <laughs> so practice makes perfect, you guys, on on the big, giant, scary things. Uh, I, that includes public speaking. I mean it. <laughs> Being somebody who's super duper shy, being somebody who really cannot handle, um, I used to think that I would never get my associate's degree from the community college I went to for a little while because one of the classes required was public speaking. And I figured that I was so terrified of public speaking and that it tormented me so much that I was just going to fail. I was just never going to get my degree. <laughs> Not because I was going to give up. I just figured there's no way a super shy person like me will ever be able to pull this off. It's, it's, it's over, we're doomed. And actually I did it and I got an A in the class. And that was the same year that I went, okay, anything that absolutely scares me and terrifies me, as long as it's not going to actually be a really, 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 really bad decision and like just destroy me on some level, financially or physically, I'm going to try it and I'm going to do it. And if I am made a fool of, that's fine. I'll survive that. If I'm laughed at, that's fine. I'll survive that. If people think that I'm ridiculous or ugly or fat and what right do I have for being there, that's fine because I'll survive those things. I'll survive all of those things. Oh, there's one of the rare flowers. Let's see if I can like get people over here. There we go. And one of the beautiful rare blossoms. Oh, we only have 5,000 more essence to go, you guys. And then we'll have enough essence to have a home in the meadow. I'm so excited. So yeah, just remember that from, from me to you guys. And maybe it's not the right thing in your life to chase all of the butterflies or to chase as many of the butterflies as you can in your stomach. Anything that gives you butterflies and makes you scared. If you can accept that, hey, I'll probably survive that. It may be scary. It may be terrifying. It may hurt. I may feel bad. But I will survive it and come out of it a little bit stronger. Then go for it. Do it. Because there's a lot to be gained from just pushing through on those kinds of experiences. If nothing else, doing it and failing and being mocked and laughed at and ridiculed and torn apart 
But then surviving it, if nothing else, you gain something so powerful, even if everyone makes you feel like a laughing stock, you gain the ability to be less afraid when you chase those things, even if you fail. And honestly, I think I wouldn't trade anything else. Oh, there's a piece over there. That's a little emotion piece. Let's go collect it. And a flower. Am I leading a whole troop? Oh, I'm leading a whole bunch. Oh, I love it when we do this. Oh, it's so much fun to be in the meadow. I love it, you guys. I really wouldn't trade much else for the strength that comes and becomes part of your life. And let's see if I can get people over here when you are less afraid. And the only way you can really become less afraid is by doing and failing and finding that the things you thought would destroy you actually weren't that bad after all. And this comes from somebody who's experienced quite a lot of chaos and quite a lot of pain in her life. And I can promise you guys the adventures I've tried to push myself on have always been worth the nervousness <laughs> that, that started it out. Oh, is there a big piece? No, it was just a pretty green dot. <laughs> of course I would be lured by a pretty green dot. All right, you guys. Oh, there's a piece of something over here. Wonderful. All right, let's see if I can set a little fire to attract people to this spot and let them know there's a piece right here. And I feel we've done a good job. We've done a pretty good job, you guys. I've rambled, hopefully, about something helpful. I always feel like I just say ridiculous, silly, random things during these, these episodes, but I always have such a wonderful time, and I just feel like this place is so beautiful, and, and I just feel like I wish I could tell you guys some of the most beautiful things I've ever learned about life and being alive and what it feels like to survive the things I thought were scary and how, how beneficial it's been. To, to challenge myself that way. So I guess that's been the theme of the last couple of Meadow episodes too, is just doing the things that I thought were challenging and not giving up and adventuring. And the journey usually has a lot more to teach me than the destination. That's always been true. Like the ability for, for lynxes to fly, apparently. <laughs> all right. I think we've explored enough for now. I hope you're all having a wonderful time and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.